complete our war series following on from the top 10 World War II and Vietnam War films, we decided to take a look at the top 10 modern warfare films. For a film to count, the war in the film must have taken place since 1990. Any wars prior to that will not be included. Number 10, Green Zone. Yeah, I had a couple questions about the intel uh, for tomorrow. Uh, are we sure this is accurate? It's solid, it's good to go. Uh, what's the source? Paul Greengrass's visceral war drama follows Matt Damon in Baghdad during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Packed full of propulsive action and tense sequences, Green Zone is a sharp and well-crafted war film that sees Greengrass and Damon collaborate again and deliver an effective and solid film. Number 9, Courage Under Fire. Mattel, find me a target. I think I got one, sir. Do you or do you not have a target? It's hard to make out, sir. Fire! An emotional and intriguing tale from Edward Zwick, Courage Under Fire follows Denzel Washington as he reviews the merits of a fallen officer during the Gulf War. An extremely powerful and well-told story about honor and loyalty that effectively depicts the terrors of war and the heartbreaking aftermath. Yeah. Me, Brady, somebody. You know, the adrenaline was pumping, sir. You can't expect me to remember everything. Try. No! <laughs> Number eight, the messenger. The Messenger follows an Iraq War veteran who narrowly escapes death when an improvised explosive device goes off. Starring Woody Harrelson in his Oscar-nominated performance and supported by Ben Foster, The Messenger explores a dark and powerful subject away from the battlefield, an emotional and deeply resonant character piece. Number seven, Jarhead. We have a very special treat. Private Swafford here is going to play Reveille for us. Okay, Swafford, play Reveille. Oh, I have a pupil. Based on the best-selling book about Anthony Swafford's pre-Desert Storm experiences in Saudi Arabia, Jarhead is a portrait of the psychological challenges of the Gulf War. Packed with powerful performances and beautiful cinematography from Roger Deakins, Sam Mendes' war biopic is an expertly crafted and engrossing experience. Fire. What the f frequency are you on? Oh, f we got air. I'm calling it in. You have permission to take the shot. Tough break. You were just gonna shoot one guy. Watch this. It'll blow your f***ing minds. Number six, Free Kings. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good shrine, right, Chief? I'm not kidding. Sounds like a good shrine. Hey, man, I'm sorry I hit you. Three Kings is a satirical war film that follows a small group of American soldiers in Iraq in 1991 during the end of the Gulf War. A film that blends elements of action, drama and comedy, Three Kings is a thoughtful and exciting flick with an all-star cast including George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg and Ice Cube. I tried to do something for the family and I just want you to know. Know what? I love you, okay? Tell me what's going on. Just tell Chris. Troy? Tell Chris I'm a rich man and if things work out, she'll be taken care of, okay? I gotta go, Cody Bird. I love you. Number five, Blood Diamond. You are a good boy who loves soccer and school. Your mother loves you so much. She waits by the fire making plantains and red palm oil stew with your sister Yanda. The second film from Edward Zwick to appear on this list, Blood Diamond is a well-made and powerful film that succeeds in mixing action with heart-wrenching drama. That diamond is my ticket out of this god-forsaken continent. That doesn't answer the question. Set during the Sierra Leone Civil War, Blood Diamond depicts a country torn apart by the struggle between government loyalists and insurgent forces. DiCaprio delivers another breathtakingly intense performance, one that earned an Oscar nomination. An exciting and compelling war thriller. Colonel, we think Ox is down there. I don't give a damn who's down there. Kill 
them all. Number four, Lone Survivor. This is what we're gonna do. This op is compromised. We're gonna cut them loose and we're gonna make this peak. When we make this peak, you're gonna get comms up. We're gonna call for extract and we're going home. An underrated war film from director Peter Berg, Lone Survivor packs patriotism, courage and heroism into a thrilling dramatization of a true story set during the war in Afghanistan. Starring Mark Wahlberg, Ben Foster and Eric Banner, Lone Survivor is a proficiently made film that has a technical ferocity that cannot be denied. Melissa? The redhead dude, the one with freckles on the nose, cute one from the Coldplay concert. That's Melissa. Well, is she coming? She's a bridesmaid. Yeah. Is she coming? She's a bridesmaid. Yes. Well, did she ask about me? No. Number three, Zero Dark Thirty. We've located an individual we believe, based on detainee reporting, is Bin Laden's courier. He's living in a house in Abbottabad, Pakistan, and we assess that one of the other occupants of the house is UBL. A chronicle of a decade-long hunt for Osama bin Laden, Zero Dark Thirty is a gripping and brilliantly crafted war thriller that managed to earn five Oscar nominations, including one for Best Picture. What defines Zero Dark Thirty is the controversial depiction of torture. However, what unearths it is the more harrowing and pulsating story that expertly studies its characters. An intelligent and extremely detailed masterpiece. Number two, Black Hawk Down. There's a crowd advancing six or seven blocks from the crash. Shigar and Gordon again request permission to secure until convoy arrives. Over. The true story of 123 elite American soldiers who were dropped into Somalia during the iconic raid in 1993. Their aim? To capture two lieutenants of a renegade warlord which resulted in an all-out battle on the streets of Mogadishu. And you realize that I cannot tell you when that might be. It could take quite a while. Roger that. And you still want to go in there? Yes, sir. Black Hawk Down is a visceral and intense portrait of war, elevated by beautiful cinematography and Ridley Scott's superb technical skill. One of the most ambitious and realistic depictions of modern day war. Friendlies! God, it's good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you. How bad? My leg's broken. My back feels kind of weird. Gotta get you out of here, buddy. Before we reveal our number one modern warfare film, here are some honorable mentions that didn't quite cut the list. Body of Lies. You have done none of these things for her, but you should have. Tears of the Sun. Behind Enemy Lines. Brothers. Pick up the pipe! Number one, The Hurt Locker. You know what this place needs? <laughs> I'm listening. It needs grass. We're gonna start our grass business? That's right, man. I'm gonna sell the grass, and you're gonna cut it. The winner of six Oscars, including Best Picture, Catherine Bigelow's suspenseful and gripping film shows war like never before. Starring Jeremy Renner in his breakout performance as Star Sergeant William James, The Hurt Locker is an intensely shot, action-filled war epic that stands as possibly being the best dramatization of the Iraq War. By far the most stunning and nerve-shredding war film to have been recently released, The Hurt Locker is a true masterpiece. Hey, Will? Yeah? At your six o'clock, I see movement on the bridge, right on the tracks. Well, handle it. Should I fire? It's your call, buddy. Thank you for watching. Any films depicting modern warfare that we forgot to mention? Leave your opinions in the comments below.